Joshua Haberski, Director of Federal Affairs for PCA here. We have a special, special guest. I was going to challenge him to one-on-one, -on -one, but we decided to go with an interview instead of that. Uh, Carl Malone, legendary basketball player. Okay. We've got the whole team, Katie, here. Uh, we're talking about your cigars and rum. Uh, tell us a little bit about the product. Go ahead, Katie. Katie Muscle. Our time here. Well, um, it started with the cigars, and it really took off about going on four years now, and we went down to the Dominican. My dad's always wanted to have his own cigar, and actually, at the same time, the cigar we launched last year, we actually opened up a cigar lounge as well called Legends, and if you look on the boxes, that's where the logo is, and that's where it comes from. Um, then, uh, about a year back, we actually decided that well, we were having meetings and stuff. We were taking some rum to friends and everything. And then a year back, uh, Mr. Gustavo and Mr. Leon from La Aurora actually have their own rum. And they actually wanted us to be a part of it. So we became the U.S. distributors of the rum for here in the U.S. And we actually have some more things that are happening. So. Breaking news here. Breaking news official. Tell them what happened today. We signed a deal with uh, Southern Wine and Spirits, so you'll be seeing a lot more of it. We're excited. So we're very excited. And, and I got to be a proud dad. Uh, she has been amazing. I uh, uh, have my daughter and my family included because they was in the whole process of uh, what we did. And Mr. Leon and Gustavo and the whole of our family have just been truly amazing. And they start off with the best out there, and they're uh, wrong. The neat thing about it is uh, they have, uh, I don't know how many uh, blends, but they all pair to the rum. And it's uh, aged for eight years in perfect oak prayer, barrels, white oak barrels, white oak, not red oak, and it's in uh, out of Tennessee. In two years, it's French barrels. That gives it that other And here's the amazing thing about it that I've been getting, and the big us. Uh, why the Spirit Institute in Chicago, it was rated a 97 out of 100. So, so this is real stuff, and I'll tell you, be patient, take it easy, because if you try to drink too much, it's just not you, but it's amazing. <laughs> so anyway, we, we're, we're excited. We're more, more excited on the story and the process. You know, you just, we, we don't really know what other athletes do, but we can tell you right now, it was not a label that we just put on the product. Uh, in fact, no matter over a hundred different blends, Manuel, the master of liver, with all the more that we created our blend, you got it right here. That's what you see. Well, the packaging, the branding, all the folks that have been coming, we truly have created a family atmosphere. Everybody's like, you know what, we got involved in this because I was smoking cigars with Carl and then meeting different family members. Uh, you got something great going. I really appreciate the opportunity for the interview. Good. And now, I want to tell everybody out there, as a cigar connoisseur, aficionado, whatever you want to call it, it's not our job to go out there and tell you, smoke this, don't smoke this. We're going to say to all the naysayers out there, stay in your lane, you do you, we do us, but the most important thing about it is, it's going to take us care of everybody, and we're looking forward to coming to the Black Caucus and discuss it, and because, because the thing about it, we, we can't allow ourselves to do is just be submissive and roll over on all the rules they passed in Congress. And the, and the most important thing that we all can do is get out there and voice your opinion. We don't have to be militant about it. We can be civilized and have a conversation. And we have a saying in Legends, that I store in Legends. We do this. Smoke them if you got them. <laughs> Really appreciate it. You guys got to keep making good cigars and good rum, and we'll fight for you in Washington, D.C., and then when you have the opportunity to come and visit, I think Congress will be excited to hear from you and your story about how this came together. Right. And here's the most important thing. One person can't fight for you. So you say you, you're fighting for us? No, we're going to fight for well, you. Absolutely. And we want to we have a civilized conversation with Congress, and we're looking forward to coming it, out. It is definitely a team. So, thank you. Thank you. And this is uh, Carl Malone, Katie Malone, and we approve of this message. <laughs>